Can you talk me through the, the technique and preparation for lifting the stone once you're standing there? Liam O'Flaherty wrote a beautiful piece on this in the story. So he said, he stands up and he, he blows out. He scrapes the ground with his feet so there's no loose rocks underneath him. He spits on his palms to get an extra grip. And then he bends forward at the knees straight back and leans over the stone, grips the handles. The handles, I mean, you're just gripping the stone. Breathe out, inhale, brace the body, and then push the ground away with your legs and just use your, your fingers as almost like, like hooks. So it's all coming from your legs, your, your, your arse and your hips strength, you know? And then that stone will just come up into your lap. You sink down into a, a squat, you bear hug your arms around it. Again, inhale, brace the body and push to the ground and stand up with that stone. And it's, it's just the most incredible feeling, you know? You're touching history. You're physically touching history. You're not talking about it. You know what I mean? You're not reading about it. You're picking up a piece of local lore, a piece of local folklore. And it just, it feels amazing, you know? And like you feel a, more of a connection. I mean, how can you not feel connection? You know, you're connected to the earth. I mean, this is, the bones of the earth. You're picking up the bones of the earth, like. It's the bones of the earth versus the bones of man. So you're picking up the bones of the earth, you're feeling connected to the land, but you're also feeling connected to your folklore mythologies. And I just think that's wonderful.